All right, so uh, the R exchange is problem going on, and I thought let's do a little bit of a quick tutorial on how to set up MetaMask because not everyone is interested to buy a hardware wallet, and it takes time for the hardware wallet to reach. And uh, what if you they take like seven, eight delivery days uh, to give you your your wallet address or your hardware wallet? So basically, there's gonna be a MetaMask how to like get get set get set it up. So if you're on the Chrome Google Chrome right now. Uh, you can do the following. You can just go to like download MetaMask today. So you just write MetaMask on the uh, Google search. Uh, click on download MetaMask today and you're going to find this three option. One for the Chrome, one for the iOS, Android. So you can do uh, however you want to do this. If, you're, if you want to use the phone version, you can do that. Or if you want to use the Chrome version, just do that. So uh, you can go and click on install MetaMask for Chrome. I've already done that one. So basically what I'm going to do is just click on this one again. And uh, you're gonna go to the uh, extension. You're gonna say install here, and when you do that, you're gonna just uh, install the MetaMask. Now, after that one, what you do is you are going to find something like this. After you try to set up a little bit of the MetaMask, you're gonna find this new to MetaMask. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, uh, later on screen. In, uh, in the beginning, they're gonna ask you if they if they want to collect data if you're okay with them collecting your data so i just say no thank you i don't want you to collect some data and uh, from here they're going to ask you uh, if you already have a wallet so import your existing wallet using a secret recovery phrase and this is exactly what we really need so if you don't have your uh, secret recovery if you don't have your this is basically like the private keys so if you have your private keys click on import wallet but if you're starting up so this is going to be a startup tutorial so this is going to be yes let's get set up because I don't have a secret key. So what I'm gonna do is cl uh, click on create a wallet and you can enter any new password. Uh, I'm just gonna enter something right over here and boom, okay. So I'm just gonna enter any kind of a password that I need and I have a read and agree to everything. So create and when you create that one's gonna load up a little bit. So they said uh, right over here, before getting started, watch this short video to learn about your secret recovery phase and how to keep your wallet safe. Okay, so you can just click on this one and there we go. So MetaMask is a new, I'm just going to actually bump the volume on my settings right over here to the speakers. On traditional websites, a central database or bank is responsible for controlling and recovering your accounts. Mm -hmm. But on MetaMask, all of the power belongs to the holder of a master key. Whoever holds the key controls the accounts. You're and that's the basic point, okay? So you're gonna get 12 different keys. We're gonna get into that one, I'm just gonna tell you. Secret recovery phrase is your master key. It's a series of 12 words that are generated when you... Exactly, so you're gonna have 12 words. So this is basically your password. So you're not gonna share with me, I'm not gonna share with you. So if your password, these are your private keys. Uh, so if you have them, as long as you have them, those crypto, is under your name so basically you're opening up an account a wallet you see your wallet password are these 12 different combined words in their order as well so trust fox genuine is going to look something like this so whenever you click on next you're going to get something here there so let's actually click next and they have your secret uh, recovery uh, phrase makes it easy to back up and restore your account warning never disclose your secret recovery phrase anyone with this phrase can take your it uh, forever okay so for my purpose i'm actually gonna reveal mine for the very first time so after i do this you can do yours and then we're gonna get back in. all right um in the next screen you're gonna find confirm your secret recovery phase please select each phrase in order to make sure it is correct so i'm not going to show you the lower part of it but below this screen down here somewhere you're going to find all those uh, particular words and you're going to have to enter your word in order so that you can confirm that hey everything is okay before moving forward so do that very quickly and i think that's how you set it up uh, uh how you set up your private keys basically so just do that and let's see what happens next so after you enter everything you're going to find congratulations you passed the test to keep your secret recovery phase safe it's your responsibility so tips on storing it safely save a backup in multiple places and that's actually a good idea you want to copy uh you want to copy your uh seed phrases and save it and copy paste in something that is actually safe that you think is 
cannot be hacked somewhere. So never share the phrase with anyone. Be careful of phishing. MetaMask will never spontaneously ask for your secret recovery phase. So don't get emails or don't try to think that if someone uh, emails you that, hey, we are from MetaMask and this and that. So don't reply at all. If you need to back up your secret recovery phase, again, you can find it in settings and security. Uh, so this is one way to, uh, you know, back up your secret recovery phrase again. If you ever have a question, you can actually go to the uh, contact support all done that's pretty much it now if you um, want to transfer anything from you know Binance to this place or if you want to do that it's very simple it's just like how you do it on Binance as well you have the Ethereum mainnet and uh, you can actually uh, import some Ethereum right over here but I don't think you can you know store any other coin I don't know if that's the case and you can even swap as well so let's see if you can swap so let's swap to enable smart, smart transactions that's what I want to do because what I want to do is actually you know send Ethereum here and swap Ethereum all the way to you know a stable coin like USDT and then I can review the swap and I, I can actually store USDT so basically you can actually kind of trade in here as well which is actually pretty good to know um, but they have uh, very limited coins out there uh, but for me personally, I want to store USDT and I want to store uh, some other different coins for the long term in here. And I think there's, there are quite different possibilities that, that I can store some coins in here for the long term. Now, another one is to actually get Trust Wallet token. I think Trust Wallet token, they have uh, more options regarding, you know, storing uh, something uh, if you want to store different coins then you can actually use trust wallet token because this metamask is a little bit limited so that's pretty much it guys how on how to set up your metamask account if you guys are afraid of exchanges so basically after you do this it doesn't matter if binance goes to death it doesn't matter if everything goes to death you have everything actually safe and you own every coin that is actually going to be right over here because you have your seed phrases you can recover it's under your name no any hassles anymore no any all right so the second part comes in where you want to actually send your money from binance all the way to metamask so for example if you want to send uh uh you know tether or something like that all you want to do is the following so first of all come into the metamask and this is how the metamask is going to look like or if you're just on a general chrome you just uh you know for, sorry um yeah so this was on a chrome i was about to say something else but never mind now from here say go to the ad network okay and since we want to send tether which is usdt uh i want to actually click on ad network and when you click on ad network you're going to find a bnb smart chain previously binance smart chain mainnet okay click on add and then they have this network connection relies on third parties this connection may be less reliable or enable third parties to track activity but anyways this is uh, for the Binance smart chain and now we have to click on add and after you click on add they're just gonna you just have to say approve and uh, that's all you have to do and click on approve and then you have switch to BNB smart chain and this was uh, the network switch that we have to do so basically they, there are two networks one is ethereum mainnet which we do not need the network that we need is actually bnb smart chain okay so first of all that's what we need to do the second thing is to take the address right here so if you just hover a little bit up to the account one and then you have zero x something mine looks like this here's going to be looking different you want to actually copy the clipboard by clicking on it and it's actually copied now so let's head back to where you withdraw your balance right so in here what i want you to do is go to address enter address and just paste it right there okay on the network tab i want you to click on the network and just go all the way up to bsc which is binance smart chain and click on the binance smart chain right boom the network you selected is bsc please confirm that your draw address supports the bnb smart chain network and say yes i'm sure so after you do that 
all you want to do is go to the withdrawal amount so for this example purposes i'm just going to start with a simple maybe 10 to 11 dollars and uh, i'm going to actually uh, receive 10.71 dollars into my metamask account right so for that one uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on withdraw and when I click on withdraw, the network selected is BNB Smart Chain. Please confirm that your withdrawal address supports the BNB Smart Chain network. If the other platform does not support it, your assets may be lost. Okay. And we actually know that we are supporting the BNB because we are on the network of BNB Smart Chain. Okay. So that's exactly what we needed to do. Now from here, you say confirm. And when you click on confirm, you want to click on uh, receive this much amount. These are the final messages and click on continue. And then from there, you want to click, uh, you want to actually enter your verification codes and whatnot. So do that very quickly. From my side, there is a you, uh, withdrawal request is being reviewed and it will take approximately 12 hours. You can view the status of withdrawal. So it's going to take some time. Sometimes it, it just takes, it completes very, very quickly and whatnot. So yeah, this is all that we actually needed to do. Now right over here, there's like confirmation that we need. So zero out of 15 processing network. It's gonna take time until you don't actually get into your MetaMask. Now the next thing that you wanna do is the following. All right, so uh, you wanna actually go to import tokens right there because the token that we want to import is going to be USDT. So you need a token contract address and the token contract address is gonna be for the you know BEP20. So all you need is uh, USDT uh, BEP. 20 contact address and you're going to find this address starting from 0x all the way up to 955 so you want to click on copy and you want to go to your token address right there and the token symbol by default is actually shown as token you, you, you can see it, it loaded as usdt so that's what you want to add and click on add custom token right there boom and after we did that you can see that my withdrawal has already happened and you can see in uh, in my account i do have 10.71 usdt so basically i've already imported this one uh, what i'm actually uh, gonna do is click on import tokens uh, so boom there we go and after clicking on import tokens we already have 10.71 usdt what you can do with this one is you can swap it okay you can click on swap and when you click on swap you can say hey i want to actually convert usdt for example i want to actually buy uh, convert my 10.7 usdt and i want to buy like dogecoin okay so you can actually swap it into dogecoin and i'm just going to click on review swap this is just like how you basically convert uh i don't know how you just convert in in binance as well right so this is what you can do here you need 0.05 bnb to complete this swap actually so yeah they're gonna actually take this much fee and you can click on the following so they're gonna take like 0.26 dollars and this and that so the the fees is a little bit higher here but it's basically just okay to do that. So now best of four quotes includes a zero point this. I don't know why it's not clicking on the swap here. Um, New York quotes in 0 0.29 right there. Estimated gas fees. I probably need more USDT to swap. So basically what you have to do is uh, cancel right over there and go back to usdt click on usdt click on swap and i think you need um you need a little bit of money for the fee so basically i'm gonna swap nine dollars nine usdt to dogecoin because that's all i have and when you don't have enough money to <laughs> for the paying the fees it's not going to give you the option to swap so basically i'm going to click on the swap right now fetching the quote and there's no quote available so you just gotta keep trying again and again until there's no any uh, luck that you do but this is just the basic thing that you're gonna do it's not a, uh, you can just play around with this one until you don't find a better uh, way of quoting or maybe reviewing some swap or I think for me my money is just a little bit less right over here this is something you you guys are gonna have to do it on your own until it doesn't happen basically I don't know if there's a turnaround here I'm just playing around with MetaMask right now so let's see what happens after after there so that's uh, pretty much the uh, video that I wanted to lay out for you out there hope this one helps and I'm gonna see you the next one I love